bro, my friend sent me the tech bro purity test. And number 52 is gave a TEDx talk in high school. If you would to ask me when I, before I started streaming, what would be like the big memes in my stream slash about me? Like, hey, what do you think like the most notable thing about you in like someone else's mind would be? It would not be that I gave a fucking TEDx speech in high school. When Ludwig brought up the TEDx, the TEDx talk at a uh, fucking Fast 50, I think a part of me died that day. I think that's, it was truly Jover. I hate that I'm looking this up. Tech bro purity test. You weren't lying, it is there. Oh, okay, wait, dude, I'm actually so good. I'm actually so in the clear. Um, POV, you're building uh, the worst first date contestant of all time and you get to pick their traits. Launched a podcast on Project Hunt, bought a standing desk to appear more productive, had an NFT as your Twitter profile picture, invested in cryptocurrency and gave investment advice to friends, created a Slack Discord channel for your friends that you stopped using after a day, claimed to be intermittent fasting when you just wake up late and skip breakfast. They got my ass. They got my ass. I have done this. Go to a bouldering gym. Okay, fuck you, man. Go to a bouldering gym and only talk to other tech people. They almost got me. Done over a hundred leak code problems. Flirted with someone using tech terms. If you drop the, you turn my floppy disk into a hard drive and get laid, you are a 10. Cause I can't think of any tech terms that are at all good come ons. Flirted with someone in a GitHub PR message. Is this happening? The only commitment issues I have are on GitHub, baby. I'd love to push to production. If you know what I mean. Went on a tech meetup hoping to meet new dating prospects. If you are a straight man, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, bad idea. Sent a risky DM on Slack, Teams, LinkedIn, and Zooms. Why would you do this? You can't do that. You can't, you can't send a risky DM on Slack or Teams. That seems crazy. Slept with an investor on your cap table. I don't even know what that means, man. We're reaching tech bro business bro jargon that I don't even understand. Slept with a founder in your portfolio? These both seem like crazy conflicts of interest, man. Hooked up with another intern during your internship? Built an entire dating app instead of just talking to someone in real life? This is one guy, and if you check off this box, you need help. You can't build a dating app instead of, that's crazy. Coded an app or algorithm to optimize your dating prospects? I'm gonna go ahead and say that the purpose of the system is what it does and you are not going to do this. You're gonna spend your time coding an app. <laughs> do not date by algorithm. Don't, no, no. Use your coding skills to write a flirty message in code while loop print in or something. And then while loop equals odd print out, I don't know, loop 50, that's ah, stupid. Pitch to start up calling it blank for blank. What are you talking about? Blank for blank? That sounds like you're trying to ask your bro to give you a mutual hand job, but you're too scared to be gay. And so you're kind of tiptoeing around the issue. Like, bro, blank for blank? I don't know. That's why it's... <laughs> Tweeted at a tech billionaire hoping for a reply. Tried to be a thought leader in tech, but never got more than 10 likes on a tweet. <sighs> this is straight up that guy who was like, I pulled the clutch move of ordering his pizza at 12.30 a.m. Tried to let the red wine decant, but you said Honey Badger gets what he wants. Gave a TEDx talk in high school. Okay, okay. Read Atomic Habits, but have less than Atomic Habits. Quoted Naval Ravikant more than five times in your life. You've said you're making the world a better place, but work at Meta, holy shit, owned. Called yourself a strategist when you're literally 22 years old. Okay, fuck you, I'm 25. I've never called myself a strategist though. Claimed Harvard on your LinkedIn when you're in their extension school. Funny. Wrote a LinkedIn article about your thoughts on the future of tech and it got zero, zero likes. Guys, can I just say it sounds like the person who wrote this got hurt really bad. Like if you read this through the lens of like one tech bro's regrets, it is, we're getting sad. Tweeted at a tech billionaire hoping for a reply. Wrote a LinkedIn article on your thoughts on the future of techs and it got zero likes. This is just oof. Pitched a subscription box service for something completely unnecessary. That's funny. Ask someone for advice instead of just asking them out. Dude, tech bros are not okay. What do you mean? This is just like talking to another human being. It's not that weird. Created a relationship CRM to track all your social connections. What? Client relationship matrix? Leader in an entrepreneurial org, but not an actual entrepreneur. 
claimed to be bullish on a technology you barely understand, attended a singles and tech mixer event. Oh, that's sure not to be a sausage fest. Called yourself an entrepreneur in your dating app profile when you haven't sold anything to one customer slash app one user. Are you okay? Can I write the person who wrote this, man? You're gonna get your hit, it's fine. People are gonna start liking your LinkedIn articles. Asked your first date the same questions you'd ask at user interview, get help. Rejected from Interact, but you went to the contrary, contrary retreat. What even is that? Made a pros and cons spreadsheet for potential partners. I think that's just neurodivergency. I don't even think that's fucking, you know what I mean? I think if that works, if that's what you need, that's what you need, bro. I think this is a W if, if it works for you. You know how my ass evaluates people? On vibes. That shit never works. Hating on big tech for being evil, but literally working in big tech. Oh, you hate the system, yet you participate in it? Glorified sleeping on the floor for a company that didn't give a shit whether you lived or died. <laughs> Said you were an ops generalist, but you're mostly just maintaining spreadsheets. Uh, bro who doesn't know what operations management is. Wore a Patagonia vest to a first date. Called yourself a digital nomad, but just work remotely from your parents' basement. You read thinking fast and slow in college, but you still watch TikTok. Insisted on using Figma to plan your birthday party. I don't know anything about Figma. It sounds like a D's nuts joke, but I, don't, I can't figure out how you would land that one. You haven't actually completed a book in two years, but have a bookshelf section on your personal site. I do have a bookshelf in the back of my stream. Caught. Bought a $700 ergonomic chair, but still have terrible posture. Okay, fuck you, man. Who wrote this? Your personal site has work, play, and about in the nav bar. If you look below my stream, it's pretty damn close. Can't do anything socially without making a post about how you're thinking differently and asking your friends to participate. No bed frame. Oh, come on. No, I'm just kidding. I have a bed frame. You think my ass doesn't have a bed frame? Come on. 92%? I'm hella pure. I'm as pure as they come. Wait, I don't think I should be saying that. Scored lower than me, goddamn. I should do the uh, rice purity test. That sounds fun. Isn't that just like, hey, have you ever sucked a peen? Have you ever held hands? What's the streamer purity test? Have you ever scheduled a week of streams and then only ever done three of them? Have you taken a raid sponsorship? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, what else? Has it been two weeks since you went grocery shopping? Oh God, wait guys, I don't like this anymore. Wait, no, 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 I don't, this isn't fun. <laughs> Have you ever gone live but didn't unmute your mic? Oh, come on, dude, shit. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Are you vitamin T D deficient? You're lucky I take supplements. I'm actually not deficient in vitamin D. Because my ass supplements. Dude, vitamin D supplements are so tasty. I am like whatever about Flintstones or whatever vitamin gummies, but the OG chalky Flintstone snacks hold such a special place in my heart, man. There's just something about those bad boys. It is really weird that you need the sun, you know? Or supplements. Like your ass will literally not be able to absorb phosphorus or calcium if you don't get enough vitamin D and you will fucking die. Your bones will become brittle. Like, it's like crazy. Like, it's not really something you think of needed for humans, but like humans need sunlight, bro. We also need lots of other weird things like metallic iron and stuff. But I think it's, it's crazy how like the sun ages your ass so much. And I was talking to a friend and they said their friend thinks that sunscreen gives you cancer. And I'm like, wow, that is a really counterproductive conspiracy theory. Cause I think like it couldn't be more the opposite. <laughs> People are spreading that all over social media right now. Really? Dude, big sunscreen's been causing cancer this whole time.